My story uh, is really rooted in um, being an unhappy high school student. And when, um, when I graduated from high school, I just, I knew I didn't want to go to college. I wasn't ready to go to college. And yet there was this pressure that this is what the next step is and I should do this. And it's what my family wanted me to do. Um, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it, uh, at least at 18. And um, what I had this burning desire for is just that as a young person, I had a perspective that mattered and I wanted to, um, I wanted to go learn from the world. Uh, and so I started seeking out mentors in, in my life, adult mentors, that were involved in doing really interesting things. And I floated around the country for about two and a half years. Um, I spent six months in Philadelphia working in, um, uh, with tutoring programs in urban settings. And I was from small town, rural Minnesota. <laughs> so this is my first time in using public transportation and my first time, you know, you know, I was a minority there as a, a white middle class girl, essentially, in a prim predominantly African American community. Um, so I had a huge learning curve. Um, but what I learned um, really was that I had more, uh, that I didn't have as much to give as I thought, and that, um, how would I say this? I, I learned to be a learner. And I learned to, to say, I really don't know that much, but I'm here to learn. And I'm here to be a witness to your experience and any experience that I encountered after that. Um, and so as I floated around for a few years, getting real world experience, I really realized that, oh, maybe I do want to go to college. Maybe I want to get some grounding and theoretical knowledge um, to what I was seeing in the world and the broken systems and the social problems, um, hunger, poverty, um, you know, classism and racism. And I, I was just sort of filled up to here with like, okay, now what do I do? You know, I, I kind of went and witnessed this stuff. Um, and so at college, I remember taking a sociology class and the professor talking about Jonathan Kozel, and I'm like, I know what he's talking about. You know, I, I was there. I, I witnessed some of this. Um, and so for me, I think those were the crystallizing moments um, is one, just being willing to take a different course than what was um, laid out for me. And then secondly, um, going back and getting more skills in order to say, okay, well, now what do I do with all this knowledge of, you know, I have the theoretical knowledge, I have some experiential knowledge, um, what can I do with this marriage of these two things in the world? Um, and so I think it led me to take an unconventional approach at times and just to not necessarily accept what was, what I could either see um, or what people were telling me to do or believe. Um, so that was maybe my starting point.